Hi guys, welcome to another Teach to Code. So today I wanted to look at super classes. So the whole idea of Java, right, is that we have an object oriented programming language. So we can have an object or a class, right? Let's just say a class called employee, right? Now we're going to have multiple employees, right? As we have a business. So instead of writing the the Java file over and over again, right? What we can do is just simply make objects and those objects pretty much copy the whole Java file, right? But it's a little different in the sense that we can control the instance of it, right? We can tr control which employee it is by, you know, controlling the name, the IDs, the social securities, the addresses. So that's kind of the idea, right? Now, the idea of superclass and subclass is, um, you know, maybe you're coming out with a new version, maybe your boss desires a new feature, so instead of rewriting the whole program, you can actually write a child program that extends into the parent program, and it inherits everything from it, because it's a child, right? So, and we can add the new methods that we need to add, and all the new, um, parameters so we can the new variables so we can not have to rewrite everything so let's go ahead and get into this guys so the first thing we're going to do is new project a new java application and we'll call it employee test all right so we're not going to mess with employee test quite yet we will um open it up i don't know why mine's doesn't have the package open for me right away, but uh, look for your employee test package, do a new Java class, and let's go ahead and name it employee. Okay. So in the employee class here, we're gonna do uh, four variables. So let's go ahead and do, so with the access, we're gonna need these access uh, modifiers to be public. Normally, I would say make them private, but um, the reason they need to be public is we're going to extend from our other program into there. So we actually need to pull the data out of this class, right? So if we need access, we need to make it public. Now we're going to pass a couple of uh, variables. So we'll just go ahead and do first name. We'll do public string last name. We'll go ahead and do public string ID number. So or just ID, right? Now, I know it's a number, but it could essentially be a string. No worries. And then finally, we'll do public double salary. All right. So now let's go ahead and make a constructor. So we'll do public employee. We're going to pass all four parameters in there. So string first name, string last name, uh, string ID, and then finally uh, double, right? So double salary. All right. So there's our constructor object. Um, if you don't. If you haven't, uh, you're kind of last on this constructor, I do have a video called Java Constructors, so I'd recommend checking that out. So in here, we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, normally, we just initialize things, right? But here, we got to check if salary is going to be less than zero. We, because, you know, users, computer programs, they can do crazy things so we gotta double check that stuff right so if the salary is less than zero we're just gonna throw a new legal argument exception now you could uh pass a string in here and people usually do and they'll pass a string in here to say um whatever it is they're trying to tell the user but I think we'll just catch it in our program. So let me see what's wrong. So 
So legal argument exception. Okay, there we go. So I had it a little misspelled. Sorry about that. And then last, we want to initialize everything, right? So this dot first name is equal to first name. This dot last name is equal to last name. Let me scroll down just a little bit. This dot um, ID is equal to ID. And then this dot, I was gonna put double salary is equal to salary. <laughs> oh man, all right. <clears throat> so we have our employee constructor set up. So the next thing we're gonna do is some get methods because what's data if you don't grab it, right? What, what's data if you don't use it? So public, we're gonna do string for the data type because we're gonna be getting a string, right? So we're gonna return that string. So we'll get first name. We don't need a parameter because again, we're getting data, right? We don't need to pass anything into it. And all we need to do is return first name all we're doing is returning something we're getting it public string get last name many people copy and paste these but I would say don't I would say practice these until you really really understand them and if you're lost on the get and set methods guess what there's videos on that as well so I'm trying to like put all these ideas together as I build content so public string ID oh sorry get ID right and I like capitalized ID on the get IDs I don't know why might be breaking a standard there but it is what it is it's my style all right and then finally we could get the salary right so let's go ahead and do that so public so be careful because the data type of salary is not a string right it's a double and whatever data type you put there, it's going to expect the return type to be correct. So if I were to put return salary on get ID, it would be frustrated because it would say that's not a string. So be careful with your data types. That's another thing that get that can go wrong. So get salary and we're just going to return salary. All right. So now we're gonna do a set method for salary, just in case um, we wanna give somebody a raise or whatever. So public void, because we're setting something now. We don't need it to return. So set salary. And into this, we do need to pass a uh, double salary, right? Because if you don't provide the argument, nothing's gonna change, right? So in the set salary, we'll just do um, return salary. And actually before, oh sorry, not return salary. What we should do is check, right? If salary is less than zero, because that should never happen. And we could have probably copy and pasted the other code from above, but I like to just type this stuff, I don't know legal argument exception okay we don't need any parameters in there awesome and then I was doing a return sorry I was still stuck in get mode it's this dot salary is equal to salary right all right so now we're gonna do one more new thing so there's a couple of new things in here that I'm throwing at you guys but I'm um, just another method so let's go ahead and look at this so it's public string to string so we kind of experienced this idea that um, when we were working with text boxes in the GUI right we did the math with the numbers but then when we uh, displayed the data back to the user well text boxes and labels they only accept text, right? They don't accept integers and doubles. So this method here is going to help us do stuff like that. So let's go ahead and do return because it has a data type in the method. It expects a return. 
So return, um, let's go string.format. So this is a new method for us. We'll pass in first name there. We'll concatenate a space. Let me get rid of this args. And then we'll concatenate last name. And then we'll concatenate another one, two, three, four spaces. Let's just say, and we'll do ID. And then I think if I remember correctly, I did about six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll show you guys why I chose these spaces in a while. So for now, just go with it. All right. Well, actually, I think I only did four spaces here. Yeah. It's in the other one that I had to adjust. Okay, so I think we're set with this class. Let's go ahead and go to the employee test and let's see what this class can do so far. And then the next part we need to do is actually make one more class that's going to extend into the employee class. So let's go ahead and start making our object. What object do we want, right? Employee. And we'll just name it employee one. And we'll say equals new employee object, right? Okay, we do have four parameters, so we have to pass four arguments. So John will be his first name, Doe is his last name, uh, ID number of 001, and then we'll just say he makes about 45,000, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't matter, right? So next, we're going to want to print out this information, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll do system dot out dot print ln and we'll go ahead and do um, employee one dot two string method so let's go ahead and see what happens with this let's see if everything blows up on us or not all right so we got the John Doe there's his ID number and there's the salary awesome so the only thing I would do that's a little bit different here is I would print out to the user you know this is employee, one, two, three, four. This is um, ID, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think this is how I did the, the spacing earlier. So let's go ahead and try this. Perfect, perfect. So four and six, guys, and that lined up everything, if you can see that. So now I know who's my employee, who's my ID, and who's my salary. And if I wanted a new object, I could copy and paste this super quick, right? And make a new employee. Jane Doe 002, 48,000, right? Let's give her more money. So, anyways. <clears throat> that's essentially how we could access the employee class, right? So, what I think I want to do before I leave here is remember to do this little um, space. All I'm going to do is a print ln here, and you'll see for why in a while. So let's go ahead and do this so this video is not any more longer. We'll come into employee test. We'll do a new Java class. And we're going to call this employee version 2, V-E-R-2. So inside of employee version 2, we're going to extend. So if you've ever done a... A Java tutorial like some of those gaming tutorials you'll see why they extend into something right so you could extend into your own classes as well so we're gonna extend into employee class right now it's gonna be frustrated with us so it wants a constructor so employee version 2 right and then what do we need to pass into the parameters well everything that we use so first name, string last name, and um, the whole reason we're even doing this class, I forgot to give you guys the scenario, is that maybe our boss didn't find um, our program sufficient enough, so they wanted an address added. So what we're going to do here is add an address with a, with a subclass, a super, using the superclass. So string first name, string last name, string ID. Here's where I want to add my address. A string address, oops, 
and I gotta make my variable in a while. So then double salary, right? So these are the five parameters if we make a new object of employee version two that we wanna have. So next we should have a private. So this one can be private for the address because it's being accessed by the same class now. If you were to ever re-extend extend into this class that's extending into the other class, which is possible, you would have to come and switch this variable to be public. So just be aware of that. And it is a string, right? I should put my data type. So Okay. Now we still have an error. It's still angry at us. And it's angry because it knows that there's a constructor from the other class. Now we could call super. We have to call super. You'll see how the, the thing went away, right? The, the little squiggly on the curly bracer. And what we have to do is remember to pass in what it is that we used last time in the old constructor. So bam, there it is. So we got super nice. Now again, since we're going to create an object of this, I would say we should probably check if salary salary is less than zero. I would say let's throw new legal argument exception. I might be overdoing this one, but you know, I don't know. I don't like to cover all my bases when I'm programming, so it might be. I might not need this part, but it's okay. I'm alright adding it. So the next part we gotta do is definitely initialize our address, right? So this dot address is equal to address. And then the only thing I think we need is a get method and the two string. So we're almost there, see? Instead of rewriting all this code, right? We can just simply do a couple of things that we need. Because we'll still be able to get all the get methods from um, the original class. We'll still be able to get first name, get last name, get ID, and get salary. So there's no problem there. But we can't get the address yet, right? So. Let's go ahead and do that because the get address method doesn't exist in our super class, right? It's only in the subclass. So let's go ahead and return our address. Okay, bam. And then the last thing we're going to do is that two string method again, right? So public string, two string, and then we'll. Um, Go ahead and open that. Let me scroll down. We'll do another return string dot format. So we can pass the first name in there, no problem. For the last name, we just need one space, right? We don't need very much. Oh, sorry, last name. And then let's go ahead and add uh, one, two, three, four. And we'll do the ID plus one, two, three, four, plus address. And what I'm going to do on this plus here is bring it down so that way I'm not running out of space over there. We'll do another one, two, three, four, and then we'll do plus uh, salary, right? Okay, woo! A lot of work for all this. Don't forget your app override, and I think we're ready to go. Cool. So now if we come back to employee test, right, we can copy and paste some of this. We just got to be a little bit careful what we're doing, okay? So let's go ahead and do this and see what we have so far. So what I'm going to do is just uh, extend this out over here. Now, there's a couple things we do need to change, right? Our object was version, oops, version 2, right? Capital V, camel case. So we kind of have the same object name, so let's just call it employee 2. And here it's mad because it should be version 2. 
And here it's mad because it's five arguments, not four. So let's just say one, two, three, Plaza Drive. I don't know. Okay. Mm, then we got to make sure we do the two string for this. Now instead of ID, it should be address right here. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know how long the address is going to push it, so we'll have to see. Okay, so I think we're all set. Let's see if it blows up or not. Let's see. Oh man, I lined up almost everything perfectly. So the salary needs about two more spaces on this one. One, two, all right. All right, so now you'll see John Doe has his address appearing. So, you know, this is the idea of super classes, guys, is that we can um, definitely change the parameters here. Oh, I, I misspelled address. I just realized that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hopefully you caught that spelling. So actually now I need to take salary back one because of the extra the extra space the character took. So we're at, you know, this is essentially super classes and this is how we can access our old classes and add on to them. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to have to call it because it's probably a pretty long video by now. So you guys have a great day. Bye bye.